Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be going over Minecraft Bedrock aka Minecraft for Windows settings. So Minecraft for Windows is Minecraft Bedrock and we're going to be going over settings today. If you're like me, you're used to playing on Java Edition or maybe you've even started playing on Bedrock and you're trying to get the feel for it, but it just doesn't sound or it just doesn't feel right. Something feels off. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the settings that work for me, which are very Minecraft Java-esque. That playing experience feels the best for me. And so that's what I'm kind of going for here. And that's why, in my opinion, they're the best settings for Minecraft for Windows. Best though is subjective. So I would encourage you to use this as a starting point. Go in here, change these settings. And if you want to change the FOV, if you want to change different settings and graphics and things like that, of course, do it. Change those settings. That's why they're there. And that's why they can be changed because what works for me may not be perfect for you, but I hope this will, at the very least, give you a base of things to start for. Before we get into it, though, I do want to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content on Minecraft, Java, and Bedrock Edition every single day of the week. Nevertheless, here we are on the main menu. Let's jump right on into settings. Now, first and foremost, most of the settings in here I've actually left the same. Things like accessibility for me are left the same. However, I could see the camera shake being annoying for others, and that's basically where if you run and things like that, the camera will shake. You can turn that on or off. As far as other stuff here, I personally don't have a need for it, but there is an amazing amount of text-to-speech things that are available for Minecraft, and those can be turned on and off. From there, we can move to keyboard and mouse. That's what this setting is for. It's for keyboard and mouse. Controller settings, touch settings, they don't apply to me on Minecraft for Windows. I'm going to be using a keyboard and mouse, and I found these settings were very similar to touch controls, even though it just didn't work. So for sensitivity, I have that set at 40. For spyglass dampening, I don't use spyglass as much. I actually haven't tried and tested that, but I would guess turning it down is probably what's going to be best, but I don't know because, again, I've not used it that much. Invert y-axis, for me, that's not something I want to do, but that could be something you may want to do. But auto jump is something that a lot of people love and a lot of people hate. For me, I like to control when I jump, especially for doing recording. It can make it a lot easier for me to not have to, you know, like auto jump on something. I may want to control when I'm jumping, and that's why I have auto jump turned off. You can also turn it on. Full keyboard gameplay, you might think you want to turn that on, but I found that you do not want to do that. All the other settings here I have left the same. They are actually, as far as I can tell, pretty much mirrored from Java Edition, so that is good. I do change the pick block, though. This is currently, by default, a middle mouse button, and uh, I don't like that. I like it to be H. It's an unbound keyboard or a button in Minecraft, and for me, hitting H is a lot easier if you don't know what pick block does. Basically, when you're in creative, or even if you're not in creative, if you have a block in your inventory, you can hit H on an empty hand and it will bring that block to the front of your inventory, making it so much quicker. From there, they're pretty much all these are the same, right? Controller touch, we'll not touch those at all. Profile, that's up to you. Creator, not what we're talking about in this video, but video settings, this is what I have. And again, all 100% up to you, but the FOV is the one thing that I had to change drastically for the Bedrock Edition to actually look good for me. Now, I, I think it was somewhere down here towards the middle before. As you can see, I've cranked that all the way up to 95. I typically do run a higher FOV anyway, so you might be interested in more of an 85 or a 75, but 95 is what looked most like a Java Edition to me, and that's what I kind of wanted. I wanted a more Java experience out of Bedrock, and I just feel more comfortable with that. Moving on from there, we do have all of these turned on because I have a pretty decent computer but if you are experiencing any lag, you can turn things like fancy graphics, smooth lighting, beautiful skies, and basically all of these off. Would you all be interested in a performance, like how to get the best performance out of Minecraft Bedrock Edition video? If so, let us know in the comment section down below. From there, we have the UI. I personally like Classic. That's going to be more towards a Java Edition layout. But if you like Pocket Edition, right, then you can go that way as well if you're more comfortable with that. GUI scale is also something I have changed drastically. By default, I believe that is going to be zero. However, I think on a bigger screen like this, like what you're typically paying Minecraft for Windows on, you're going to want that at negative one because look at that, you can see so much more. It looks so much better. Render distance is also something that you are going to be 
basically depending on what your computer is. Some people will be able to run 72. I can run 72 when I'm not recording, but when I am recording, I have to run 40, right smack in the middle. Some people with very, very bad computers might have to run eight chunks. So it's all depending on your computer. Same thing with anti-aliasing. We're gonna get the best performance. The anti-aliasing is set to one, but for me, I run it right in the middle when I'm recording and can run it at max when I am not. So nevertheless, that's kind of that. Audio settings, that's 100% up to you. I personally never play Minecraft with sound. I know I'm weird, but that's the case. And that's kind of that. That is the basics of Minecraft. Bedrock Edition. If you are new to Bedrock Edition, though, you may be interested in this story tab or storage tab. Excuse me. You may be interested in the storage tab here because in here is where you can manage your worlds. You can delete worlds. You'll also, if you have any resource packs, texture packs installed, you'll be able to manage those as well, as well as other different, you know, behavior packs and things like that. So there you have it. That is my Minecraft Bedrock Edition settings. And what that's going to do is give you a layout that to me feels very, very Java Edition, which again is what I am looking for. So as we can see in here, we are in a more Java Edition sort of FOV. You can see a decent amount, but again, I like my FOV higher. You may find your FOV happy place to be a little lower than this. So let's go ahead and drop this down to let's say a 75 here and this might be better for some people this is probably more traditional normal on java edition and uh, as you can see looking good here and it's very playable right and you'll notice the controls are exactly the same like i said pick block hit h and it jumps to the block in your inventory what's really cool about this though is if we go ahead and move this right like so and then we hit h it will move it out of the you know depths of our inventory and if you're in creative it will copy a block right away Jumping feels a lot more normal to me and sensitivity. One of the things was I felt like sensitivity was so off on Bedrock Edition before, but now my movement feels very Java Edition. And I think for a lot of you, even if you don't agree with my higher FOV, you will agree with the sensitivity because that is a very, very big part and you get so much better movement, in my opinion, out of these settings. So there you have it. That is how you can set up your Minecraft settings to be like mine and be a little bit more like Minecraft Java Edition on Bedrock. However, I do want to thank Apex Minecraft Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you don't want to start your very own Minecraft Bedrock dedicated server, you can do so on Apex, and it is even more affordable than a Realm. You also have more control. You can add in things like plugins and stuff like that to a Minecraft Bedrock server using Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Thanks to them for sponsoring this and all of our Minecraft videos on Bedrock Java. All of them, they are an amazing channel. Sponsors. So thank you so much to Apex for doing that. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. If you did help you get your Minecraft settings in tune, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more incredible Minecraft content every single day of the week on both Bedrock and Java Edition. Anyway, again, my name is Nick. This has been a long outro, and I am out. Peace.